and ultra runners in particular are just they're, they're quite by nature they're always going to be quite inspirational people you know they're quite motivated people and um, I think when you get a large collection of those people together then it's um, you know it just generates a great party really so yeah really looking forward to this year There's 19 of us here today, gone from nothing to 50 miles training. Well, hopefully 50 miles, I'll tell you, in 24 and a half hours. I'm here to run Lakeland 100, and this will be my third time. So I finished in 2016, which was my first time. I had to DNF last year with a fractured pelvis so I'm back this time to uh, wrong a right and uh, try and finish for a second time. I mean, I mean there's people who've been doing this you know loads more times than me but you know body willing I'll probably be back for years and years to come it's just so addictive. It's another amazing thing about it is that um, each of the checkpoints is run by different groups. Each one's different and they're all putting as much energy in as the runners so I can't wait to see everyone. Uh, my name is Ravi and yeah, I've come here to race the Lakeland 50. I do it mostly because Dad does it and has a load of fun doing it. I do it because I just enjoy it. It's quite nice to get out um, and just run a long distance. It's kind of like going out for a walk, but just going a little bit faster, seeing a bit more. And, and also the people that do an ultra running are hilarious and really fun to be around as well, yeah. Mardale Head were, uh, were pretty emotional today. I think for everybody, I don't think, I think everybody's had a bad experience here today. Be it um, hail, gales, storm, I mean it's yeah, a pretty epic experience. The dreaded Tilberthwaite steps, which come three miles from the end of the 50 or the 100. Um, we've renamed them this year Jacob's Ladder. Um, it's a very nice gesture from Mark and the team. Uh, and it's allowing us to raise money at a pound a time uh, for Jacob's Joy, which is my son's uh, charity fundraiser towards his cancer treatment. Ah, just just seeing everybody coming at the end it's a fantastic uh, experience for them and, and for us we become quite emotional to be quite honest at the end of it something to do with lack of sleep as well but uh, yeah it's really enjoyable to see everybody finishing <laughs> I feel very lucky as well that, that it's developed into what it has. I do sometimes kind of sit back and try and work out how it how it has evolved into this. And I would you know reiterate this: a lot of this is because um, like the marshals um, have a lot to do with it. And people always say how great the marshals are at the checkpoints and the and the, and the spirit amongst the competitors in this Lakeland family. And that's largely the, the things that the, the competitors and the marshals have generated themselves. So I'd like to stand here and say I've instigated this all and, and directed it, but. 
but to a large extent, you know, the competitors themselves, that, that, that group of people, that family, they've, you know, they've created this atmosphere and created the race. So, um, you know, without those people, it would just, well, it, there wouldn't be an event at all. So, so, yeah, I just feel very lucky that those people got involved and approached it with such enthusiasm. People go away with memories from this race and I think whether those memories are of the awful weather or where they are the fantastic checkpoints, you know, all of those things just add to the event. So, you know, it's certainly going to be a year that no one will ever forget.